Hey guys, Wally D here. We're back for more Super Mario RPG Revolution Beast Area Analysis. Man, that's going to be hard to keep saying over and over again. And we're going to go to Rose Town and basically explore a couple things that have changed here. Basically, we're probably just going to touch the shop and then that's it. Let's see, what you got for sale, bud? Mm-hmm, what you got? Oh, the usual. Gonna need this a lot. And maybe couple this, and couple this. Yeah, you definitely should buy some pick-me-ups when you have the money for them, because they're pretty damn important. Don't forget about this, obviously. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I need to get all of the stuff that I need. Fungi Jacket. Fungi Jacket is definitely good for defense, and it's definitely good for attack. Problem is, is that it also skimps out on magic defense. That can be important for a later boss fight. But I would honestly take it with you anyway, because, damn, missing out on that's pretty bad. However, Fearless Pin, probably, you might need it, but I'd say that's something you need for later. Right now, I don't think fear is a huge issue. Wake Up Pin might be useful, though. There we go. So yeah, I'm just going to go through all the places and get... This guy's stuff. I think it might be beneficial not for you to get the chest right now. I think there might be a catch where you might skimp yourself out of a, out of something. I don't know. Usually those those would have two flower tabs, and that's about it. But but once you say once you don't get them and this guy walks in, he basically will turn them into coins full of, or treasure chest full of coins. Bam. All right, so let's get this real quick. So yeah, pretty much this is just going to be a nice little strategy guide of me. Yeah, I think this one would have like a little extra. That because usually that would probably have like five. Oh crap! <coughs> hey, lady, what's up? Shouldn't you get? Shouldn't you be getting inside or something? Damn it! Oh well. <coughs> let's see. What the? The hell am I in? What did I step into, man? Oh boy. Super jump attack! I don't say that! What the- Oh my god! What the fuck is this? Damn it! Man, looks like Mario just got his face stomped across the room. Yeah, you better yell at Al Peach. Mario's doomed! Oh. Sup? Oh my god. Yes. Yes. We have a guest! Oh god, why have to say it like that? Uh oh. For real? The funny thing is, is that some speedrunners will skip on the answer and just say, You betcha, wrong number! Because that way they can avoid doing this number. Yeah, they don't have to do the extra jump to prove themselves that they're Mario. So that's, that's a nice little tactic that consider if you're trying to get through this game as fast as possible. However, I'm not doing that. I'm just showing case and what needs to get done. Okay, Mario as Bowser. That can be done. He's been freaking role-playing as Bowser when he w when we've been sleeping, apparently, because he certainly knows how to disguise as him well enough. Jeez. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Oh, damn, Gaz. Violence, bud? <clears throat> Alright, Mario can do it too. <clears throat> Girl. Uh oh. Okay, what we got here? You know, I w really wish Gino had that kind of weapon, honestly, because Jesus Christ, it one shot at Mario and like, just like that. It's like, makes me wonder how strong Gino really is. Hmm. Okay, so here's the thing about Gino, guys. Since we're gonna be having him join our party soon enough, Gino is what I like to call a glass cannon. He basically has the worst defense out of everybody in the crew. At least physically. Magically, he's a little bit better than Mario and Bowser. That's about it. But Gino is definitely gonna be your heavier hitter, and he's also with probably some of the one of the most broken specials in the game, Gino Boost. I really had to balance the hell out of that one, guys. Because Geno Boost in the original hack, oh my fucking god. You could basically do anything 
when you had Geno Boost in effect. You, it would last for the whole battle until some boss uses Shredder on you. And that basically, if you timed it right, you would double all your magic attack, your attack, your defense, and your magic defense. So you would pretty much be having twice as much power than you would have normally. And why the hell did you do that, Gino? You can't be that clumsy. <clears throat> it's like, oh, that, that knocked me back to my senses. Now let's just casually walk. So yeah, Gino is a lot more balanced in this hack. He is stronger than Mario physically, but he is stronger than Mario magically, too. I think he's tied with Peach in magic, though. I don't know exactly. I'll have to see, check that out. <clears throat> but yeah, Gino definitely has issues with uh, de defense. He basically will take hits worse than Molo, possibly. Depends on how you build the two up. So Gino walk in the forest, you must be going insane, guys. Then again, there is this thing that's missing. Uh-oh. Oh. Damn, I think I'm gonna get out of this to functional family matters. See you later. <clears throat> so let's get to the frickin' forest maze, because I'm pretty sure that's what you guys want to see. It's not about the storyline, it's not about Gino walking. It's about this place. <clears throat> get the mushrooms, by the way, you'll need them. Boss at the end is going to not be easy. And these guys, these guys, I have tried for the hardest to get or jump on them repeatedly, but I always have like hard a hard time with them assholes. But Wigglers are going to be the most danger one of the most dangerous enemies here. These guys hit hard and they have a lot of HP and a lot of defense. And I just realized I forgot to equip my armor. Damn it. That's gonna be a problem. And I believe they will counterattack your physical attacks a good percent of the time. Holy shit. Okay, Molo, you might need to take a chill pill for a bit. And I think they're also pretty immune to thunder. I don't know yet. I'll have to check. They definitely don't like having someone jump on there. Holy... Okay, Molo's dead. Jesus. So yeah, these guys are no joke. If you let them just... Go stomp all over your party, you will die, probably. So, try to take care of them as quickly as you can. Come on, Super Jump, you can work for me, man. You can kill this thing. I know you can, you kind of did it back in the old days. You at least pissed them off. Holy shit, 340? Okay, so Super Jump is definitely a good way to kill these assholes fast. I suggest you consider that. Alright, let's make sure to actually equip the armor that we bought, as opposed to wasting our time with crappy stats, and while well, you're wearing this. Oh, no. I guess we can talk about this guy real quick. This annoying little asshole. And his friend that he brought with him, Octolots. Octolots are basically spellcasters, and they will counter any physical attack thrown at them. For most of the time. <clears throat> these assholes, these freaking living mushrooms. These guys can be very annoying. Go low the humidity. Yeah, I'm about to freaking make you into a roasted... A roasted mushroom, bud. That's gonna be tasting good to Mario's. Oh yeah, these guys love to spam spells. Flame and I think flame wall, possibly, if you, if you get really unlucky with that. But they're not too bad. As you can see, they don't do enough damage to be a huge threat like the frickin' Wigglers that were doing 30 damage with the frickin' water bubble. What the hell? <clears throat> see what the- another flame spell. Okay, fine, I'll take it. So yeah, these guys just have unblockable magic to deal with. That's about- that's all you really need to worry about. It's not about doing major damage at all. It's just being a continuous pest. That's all. Ow. And as you can see, their physical attack is pretty weak. You kind of want to hope for them to use lightning orb, though, because that's pretty- Municipal, honestly. I mean, you're not gonna die from that, especially. And they don't have a lot of HP. You can also, I believe, use... I think they're weak to fire, too. I don't know why 
why the hell rat things are running around. I guess maybe they want to make one last appearance before they become obsolete. You know, they kind of already are. Dang. Buzzers, let's talk about you guys real quick. Oh, and your friend that, that they call Donkey Call. Yeah, the buzzers are pretty annoying because they love to attack twice normally. Just burn off Octobot. Dude. 13, really? Yeah, that's not bad. Finish you off in one go. Hmm, <coughs> yeah. Alright, takes care of that. Chain Kongs are the one particular enemy I really want to change up a little bit, because I feel like they're not... They're kind of annoying. They're a lot more annoying than actually threatening. Because for one thing, they have this move where they counterattack Thunderbolt with something really... Really pestering. They also now they use fun to run, which is not too bad, but if you don't block it, you might have to deal with the dying person. Fuck. Great, this ain't gonna go well. Oh god. Thank god Mario was a target. And I have a feeling Maul is gonna die here. Shit! Wow, they all attacked Mario. Interesting. So yeah, you gotta really be careful with the, uh... Really gotta be careful with these assholes, guys. Mainly frickin' Chain Kong. You can use Thunderbolt, though. Just show off the damage. Yeah, 160. That's about half his HP, I think. So, if you use Thunderbolt and it kills him, great. If it doesn't kill him, then you're gonna have to deal with the annoyance of Valor up. Don't ask me why I was thinking that. I think Figure Up is a much better spell for him, considering that a Raging Kong will be a lot more threatening, and you might want to kill him faster, and as opposed to taking more slow-ass time. Now this part, you can get some hidden chests if you aren't totally aware of it. This one's usually hard to get because there's so many enemies flying around. Hold on while I dispatch with these assholes. Or do the smarter thing and possibly run, because... These enemies are pretty annoying together. Boy, Dude, you're still flying around, even after all the flashing. This chest in here, I don't get at all. I wonder if you guys get it all, but it's like, every time you find it, it just screams out this obnoxious message. You missed! I guess it's like Wario. I guess it's like canned Wario. No, I missed every time you open it. And of course you want to go to this last one and make sure to get behind this guy. Jump around here and you get nice free cook caro caro. Oh shit. No, damn it. Huh. Fuck. Alright. We're getting near like the halfway point of this place, thank god. Do -do. I'm pretty sure you guys have played this game well enough that I don't need to tell you that you guys you don't need me to tell you that. Do -do. Alright, let's see if we can find... Okay, we're already at the... We're already at the damn save point. Thank God! Alright guys, so next time, since we're at our good stopping point, we're gonna try to get through the rest of this place, meet Bowyer, kick his ass, and see if we can possibly get a new star to add, and a new party member. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios!